Hey everyone, this is once again David DeFranco with another Squarespace tutorial coming at you from Squarespace Summit via sbasesummit.com. So in today's tutorial, we are going to quickly walk you through the process of how to customize your blog's settings. So as always, we want to get started by accessing your content manager view by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. Alright, so as you can see, by default, our blog is already selected in the sidebar because it just happens to be our website's homepage. But if for some reason your blog is not already selected, be sure to select it in the sidebar on the left. So once your blog is selected, in the top right corner, click the settings button. This is where you can customize your blog settings as well as appearance. So for example, if we want to display 10 posts per page, we can do just that. We can insert a blog description right here. We can customize its URL and even change the thumbnail image in the header. But of course, this is just the beginning. If you want to further enhance your blog, simply click the advanced tab up top. And this is where you can manage every single tag and category within your website's blog. So as you can see here on Squarespace Summit, we have a ton of tags going on in the background. But if you do want to filter, simply click filter. We will simply type in the keyword Squarespace. And here we are presented with the tags Squarespace e-commerce, Squarespace logo, Squarespace logo tutorial, and finally, last but not least, Squarespace tutorials 2014. And the same thing goes for categories. Now, as of this video's recording, we do not have Squarespace Summit broken down into categories, but as we add more tutorials over time, then yes, we will consider breaking them down into categories for better organization. And then finally on the bottom, we have the ability to edit this blog's page header using HTML, as well as the post blog item code injection. And then up top, if you click syndication, this is where you can edit your blog's RSS URL as well as enable iTunes RSS tags. And then finally, once you are done, click the save button and your blog settings are officially saved. So that is it, another successful tutorial for your Squarespace website powered by Squarespace Summit over at sbasesummit.com. Thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video.